guys, it's Harvey from All Parts Pool and Spa. I'm not showing you my face because I want to show you everything on this page. All right. What we got to break down is a manifold system on a stay right system. The ones that look like the RDD2s, the SR models, SR200, 333, and 400,000. And also the other square ones that are, you know, Pentair puts out have the same basic manifolds. A couple of things. It's called a dry fire. When you have bypass valves, usually, usually, when you have bypass valves and check valves like you're supposed to have, and um, the pressure switch here shows that when you turned it off and turned off your ball valves, usually you guys turn off your ball valves with the pump running. All right. N number one, to prevent the dry fire, um, the heater should be uh, wired to the pool pump. Number two, the heater should constantly see water flow. Number three, if you do have bypass valves, turn off your pool pump, release the water pressure, okay? Crack one of these union nuts and pull out the drain plug and let all the water drain out. Number one reason why is the water settles out and it'll start contaminating this heater jacket. All right? Because you don't run it for four or five months after you don't do it. So drain the water. Even if you're not going to use it for a couple of days. The reason why these dry fires cost a lot of money. What happens? This comes as a kit. You get these. You do not get this. Okay. In this kit, and I'll show you the kit. I think it's what is it? Um, manifold kit. It's for 200, the 333, and the 400,000. What happens is. Steam is developed through here because there's no water flow. And it rocket ships out and splits this manifold, usually on this side. Big, huge, old split. The problem with that is, okay, you go say, Harvey, okay, well, let me just buy this piece. Well, unfortunately, a lot of times that steam didn't do very well with your pressure switch and your senses. So it usually cracks other things. So you buy it as a kit. The only thing I would buy is number 14 to add it is this thermoregulator. All right, because it doesn't come with a new manifold kit. So if you dry fire your heater, you split your manifold, buy the kit, comes with all the sensors and new pressure switch and everything else like that. Keep in mind, there is new O-rings. Lubricate the O-rings. Make sure it's nice and clean. When you take the old one off, remember and read and understand the instructions manual how to put these back together. All right? The bolts and cer certain ones have different lengths for where they need to be. So make a cardboard box and put the bolts where they need to be. Comes with new bolts, line up the bolts, and use lots of lubrication because these threads are sometimes are not nice. If it starts squeaking on you and you're not done being tightened it in, back it out and lubricate those bolts more. I've seen it lots of times where people get frustrated. All I need to do is another eighth of an inch, and they start wrenching these bolts, and they snap off. So be very careful on putting these bolts in. And then you torque it on axis. Just don't do one, two, 
you know, and cock this thing because you'll break it. All right. The reason why they break, not to repeat myself, it's because of called a dry fire. All right. And usually on this side, it's a big, old, nasty crack. Keep in mind, remember to the O-rings come with the kit. Take off the old O-rings, inspect them, clean up the tubes, put the new ones in, put this in nice and square, and everything else like that, and take your time on installing it. So anyway, that is your manifold. Where is the manifold? I know I found it before. Here we go. Manifold. Let's see if we got a picture of it. There's your manifold. See, all the sensors doesn't come again. Doesn't come with that. I recommend that. It comes with a new plug, pressure switch, everything else like that. All right, guys. So that's one way to help ensure that you don't dry fire your heaters. If you have a bypass system, turn off your pool pump, slowly turn off your ball valves, turn off the gas, loosen one of these nuts, and drain the drain plug. Okay? And do a couple of things. If the pressure switch works, okay, it won't turn it on, it'll go to PS. And besides that, you won't have water settling in this copper tubing that's going to settle out and the pH is going to fall out and corrode this copper tubing. It'll help you on the life of the Stay Right Heater. All right, guys, just a little helpful tip on replacing a manifold on a Stay Right Heater. Take care.